In this video, we'll look at using the fundamental counting principle. This question comes from page 229, number 2 of your textbook, but I'll read it to you in case you don't have a textbook. In how many ways can you roll either a sum of 4 or a sum of 11 with a pair of dice? Well, the number of ways is going to be equal to, and let's think about how you can roll a sum of four. If you're trying to roll four on two dice, you could roll a one and a three, or you could roll a two and a two, or you can roll a three and a one. How many ways can you roll either a sum of four? There are three ways. Let's write that down. Number of ways equals number of ways for four plus, and now how many ways can you roll an 11? Number of ways for 11, which equals. The number of ways for 4 was, there were 3 ways. How many ways can you roll an 11? When you're rolling an 11, you either roll a 6 and a 5, or a 5 and a 6. So there are 2 ways. Therefore, the total number of ways you can roll either a 4 or an 11 on 2 dice is 5. There are five ways. The same textbook, page 229, says a car manufacturer offers three kinds of upholstery material in five different colors. So there are three materials and five colors. And the question is, how many upholstery options would a buyer have? The answer is, the number of options equals you have three materials times five colors. In other words, you have 15 options. Therefore, there are 15 options. And those are two simple examples of using the fundamental counting principle.